All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here. And today I'm just gonna talk about what supplements I'm currently taking. I like to do these videos probably every three months just because based on my situation or what's going on in my life, it can change what I'm actually taking. One of the biggest questions I've got over the last month is simply regarding supplements is what supplements are you taking now since you had a heart attack? If you guys remember, I had a blood clot that caused a heart attack on May 11th. So my supplements changed based on that. So I wanted to show you what um, I'm taking based on the guidance of a couple of really, really smart doctors and then some stuff I just kind of want to do on my own. So specifically, I want to talk about my heart supplements first. If I had to pick one thing, it would probably be uh, ubiquinol would probably be the, the, my choice. Um, this is Gero ubiquinol here. It's 200 milligrams. Um, it's, it's really good uh, when you look at the data for, for improving ejection fraction. So when your heart fills full of blood and then, and then it um, pushes blood out, it doesn't eject all 100% of the blood. Okay, so one of the things that happens after a heart attack is you maybe lose some ejection fraction, maybe 10, 15%, in my case, less blood gets ejected, okay? So one of my goals is to improve ejection fraction and just, just good heart health. And one of the supplements, again, ubiquinol, is what I take for that. Now, <clears throat> this is 200 milligrams. Um, I take a supplement from Morphogen Nutrition called Morphoprime. Morphoprime ha has 200 milligrams of ubiquinol in it, but it also has a lot of other stuff. It has stuff like berberine and ALA for your, um, for your, for your blood sugar, and it has a lot of things. Um, citrus bergamot, curcumin, 500 milligrams. So if I had to pick like one overall health supplement that I would take, this would probably be it, Morphoprime. But I wanted to take 400 milligrams of um, ubiquinol, uh, which is a version of CoQ10. So I take a serving of this and then I take one of these to give me the extra 200. So I get 400 milligrams of that. Um, and those of you who take statins, um, statins deplete CoQ10 levels in your body. So you definitely want to take these or the ubiquinol if you take statins. But this would probably be one of my top, and every single doctor that I've talked to that's really sharp and with the times has recommended this. And then another one I take um, from Nutribio. Nutribio is another really, really good company that you can trust. And this is D-ribose. So sometimes people have congestive heart failure and they have other issues and it depletes ATP levels in their heart. Um, you can recover ATP levels with D-ribose. I wouldn't say the um, <clears throat> evidence is overwhelming on this one, but I would all, but I, what I would say is that it's good enough for me to try it. If it helps my heart, I'm all for it. So I take 10 grams of this a day. You know, a maintenance dose is probably more like three to five grams, but considering I had, a, I had a heart attack, I take 10 grams of it. So this is another one that I take for my heart. And then I take uh, carnitine. Um, Carnitine, a lot of people like with angina or heart pain take it. I don't have any angina or anything like that. It also is supposed to improve heart function. I take six grams of it. I take the liquid version because as you're gonna see, I take so many pills right now. I get tired of taking pills, so sometimes I take liquid. But I actually take six grams of carnitine to improve heart function as well. Um, and then the last one I take is pycnogenol. Pycnogenol is good for circulation. So for me, I had a blood clot. That's what caused my heart attack. So anything that's gonna help with blood flow is, is kind of a good thing for me. Pycnogenol, I take probably about 100 milligrams as a maintenance dose. I've seen people take 300 milligrams, 200 milligrams. I take so much of their stuff though, I just take 100 milligrams of this. So the pycnogenol, carnitine, CoQ10 slash ubiquinol, and the D-ribose. That's my heart, <laughs> that's my heart stack. From my heart. Now I will say this, my heart attack was May 11th and we just started July, it's July 10th, it's been about two months and I feel amazing. I feel totally normal. I don't feel any different right now than I felt in the past. I feel very, very good. Um, there's some other things that I take too. I, um, you know, with the virus going on, I think people should emphasize their immune system health. I think they should get outside and get sunlight. I think they should take some extra supplements for their immune system. And so one of the things I take, it's another Nutribio supplement, it's called Immune, actually. 
and it's got vitamin D in it. It's got um, zinc in it, all kinds of things for your heart health as well. Again, another company I trust. Uh, these guys do a great job. This is um, a, a very good immune system supplement, so I take that as well. And then um, I mentioned I get tired of taking pills. So my fish oil I take from Nordic Naturals is a liquid. I take about three grams of this a day um, for all kinds of things, for heart health, cognition, my immune system. Uh, fish oil does a lot of good things. I also take a supplement called Astragalus for kidney function. It's a Chinese herb. You, you want to take probably three grams of this. I've seen people take, I've actually seen people take a whopping amount of this, 20, 30 grams. I take three for kidney function. My kidneys actually are fine. It's more preventative. Very, it's a very um, low cost supplement. It's, it's real inexpensive. I learned, I'd really take this uh, guy named Dante Trudell, who owns True Nutrition, is really big on this for kidney function. Specifically for glomerular filtration rate, GFR, when that starts getting really low, it, it, it can be a concern. This helps with that, drives it up, does a really nice job. My creatinine and BUN are always really good but it's a nice cheap supplement that does a good job. And then I take Granite's Joint Care. <clears throat> this I take mostly for my joints. It has UC2 collagen in it, which is my favorite supplement for joints. It's got a clinical dose, 40 milligrams, plus another 500 milligrams of curcumin, which went with the 500 milligrams and that's in the morphoprine. So it gives me about a gram, which is plenty of real high quality curcumin. So those are kind of the health supplements. And then from a performance standpoint, well, one more, actually this is kind of more of a food. So my protein powder I take, this is for my company, Granite. Um, it's a blend, it's a blend of whey casein and beef and egg protein. Most of the protein in here is whey and casein. And I put digestive enzymes in it so your stomach doesn't get bloated and upset. It mixes in a shaker. It tastes amazing, especially the chocolate and salted caramel. So that's the protein I use. Um, and the casein in it, it gives it a little bit of a thicker texture. So you could, it's more sustained release. So when you drink it, you're not starving again 20 minutes later. It's, it's filling without bloating you. So I'm real, real proud of my protein. Hello, everybody. My name is Alexander Meadows. And today I'm going to be doing a combo that I made up. And by the way, guys, I have an Instagram at MeadowsGang48 to see more yo-yo videos. And then um, Intra, you know I take a product called Recovery, um, which is basically a combination of essential aminos and cluster dextrin. So this is what I take during my workout to help me recover. I also have a product called Recovery, which is these two combined, plus a little extra ashwagandha extract uh, called Sensoril, which is an awesome supplement. But today I just wanted to show you the, um, the bags. The Recovery is not in the new bags yet. It'll be two or three weeks. So the essential amino acids, these are loaded. It's 10 grams of essential aminos, seven of which are BCAAs. So I think that's probably the, um, the most per serving that I've seen, maybe not, but uh, that I've seen it is seven grams of BCAAs, and then another three grams of essentials. So 10, gram, 10 grams total of essentials. Then the intracarb is um, mostly designer carbohydrates, cluster dextrin and platinose here. Um, both of these mix really well. They absorb right into your bloodstream when you drink them. And then um, the last thing here is a pre-workout. This is our new pre-workout. It's called GX. We just launched this two weeks ago. Um, it's loaded with nootropics. It's not a heavy stem pre-workout. It's a heavy nootropic and pump pre-workout. So it has six grams of citrulline, 
two grams of betaine nitrate to get your blood vessels dilated. And then nootropic wise, it's got 100 milligrams of active teacrine, it's got 300 milligrams of alpha GPC, it has 500 milligrams of lion's mane extract, which is a clinical dose. So it's two grams crude, but with the four to one extract we use, we purify down into 500 milligrams. Uh, when you take this, you'll be really, really sharp. Now, I don't take this year round. My plan is to take this year round. I take it when I, I take it like if I want um, to get a crazy pump or if I'm training a big body part. So I usually will take it like on a leg day or a chest and shoulder day. Those are typically the days I take it on. Um, we have this sour power flavor, by the way, which is extremely sour. That's exactly how I wanted it. So that's um, a very quick breakdown of what I take. Um, the sports performance uh, products I take, the general health performance products I take, and the heart health stuff I'm doing. I feel really, really good about the heart health stuff I'm taking. And um, very, very happy with how my heart's recovering. The, the proof will be in the pudding next month though. Next month I get, I get an echocardiogram done, which is a very specific way of looking at um, heart function. So I'll be able to see how my heart's functioning uh, probably in about four weeks. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, if I get a green light on that, um, then I'm basically good to go. Because when I looked at my heart, it was normal size and I had no plaque, I, very little. I did have a tiny bit, which is normal for a guy my age. Um, but I'm very excited about how my heart's feeling, how I'm doing and my general health. Other than having a heart attack, um, I've been very, very healthy. So I think a lot of these supplements are very beneficial. I never have kidney issues. I never have liver issues. My blood pressure is typically 115 over, you know, 75. No problems there. Um, no digestive issues. So drinking all the protein powder I drink, um, that's a good thing. That speaks a lot, I think, to the quality of the protein. Um, but that's it. That's it. Just a short video today on that's what I take. Um, support these other companies too. You know, I have a company, Granite, but I'm all about supporting good companies. There are shady companies in the industry, but they're good companies. There's companies like Nutribio that I have full faith in. There's companies like uh, Ben's company, Morphogen Nutrition. There's, there's a lot of great companies out there. So I always like to talk about the good companies too. And we got to make sure we support those guys. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, if I missed the doses or something, just let me know in the comments below. Um, but thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.